Hello. Mr. Shulsky, thank you for coming. I came here as fast as I could. Yes, thank you. However, you must wait a minute. I have a phone call. Please make yourself comfortable. I'll be back shortly. Sorry for that. We can talk now. As you already know, recently one of my students was arrested. I think your help will be invaluable. The phone call you received? Was it anyone important? First of all, it was a private conversation. It was my wife, if you must know. I understand that I must answer more uncomfortable questions. How can I help? I'm afraid that the arrest of this boy threatens the continued operation of the Flying University. You're afraid he might simply give you up? I have also heard that some students have begun to accuse each other of working with the Ochrana. It's very destructive. Who's the arrested student? Valdemar. A very talented arithmetician. I feel bad for him. A locksmith's son. So, he should manage in jail. Yes. But what scares me most is the atmosphere of distrust that has set in. Of suspicion. A witch hunt. In order for the meetings to continue, I need to know if someone has actually betrayed us. The venue of our next lecture can also be considered compromised. You're trying to legalize the university, aren't you? Even if it means it will be controlled by the Russians. I don't see any other way for us. We can't hide forever. And the Russians, they're here now, and I'm thinking about the future. However, we can't do it without your help. Do you like to play solitaire? What makes you ask that? You're not a gambling man, but your cards appear used. Oh, the cards? Yes, well... I know Polina left them here. Cards also involve math. I use them to explain probability calculus. You teach your students how to count cards? Trust me, this has no relation to our case. Is she the one the students suspect of being an Ochrana spy? Because she's Russian? Regrettably, we live in such xenophobic times, but I don't harbor even the slightest suspicion against her. Actually, I would like you to definitively eliminate her as a suspect. Preferably without her finding out. Of course, I can be very discreet and go about this delicately. We'll round up all suspects in one place. 
Next, we'll say that I'm there because of a thaumaturgical lecture that you yourselves have requested. Good idea. The question is, where? I think it's time for me to reciprocate with an invitation to my house. I only need to ask my sister first. Wonderful. Thank you. I think we can conclude our meeting. Thank you. You're of great help to me. I'll let you know when we're ready. And please be careful. There's been some commotion in front of the tenement house again. Sometimes I don't know if they're coming for me already or if the time hasn't come yet. Of course. Goodbye. Shulsky, there's a young lady to see you. I'll serve tea in the drawing room. I won't stay long. There's no need. Thank you, Grazinka. A nice house, a spot of tea, a housekeeper. When the revolution comes, everything here will go up in smoke. Did he say anything? You know what? He confirmed my belief that thaumaturges are freaks. Thank you, Vanda. I'm glad I could help. I've got an appointment with Mihal. See you. Sooner than you think. Will the young lady be visiting us more often? That's my hope. Oh, right. I'm glad you're here. There's something I wish to discuss with you. You seem excited. Let's hear it then. I'd like for the Flying University's next meeting to be held here. What brought on this sudden interest in education in you? First of all, you're the silly one. Second, it's about Dickstein. Oh, pardon, I meant to say Samuel. He suspects that there might be an Ochrana informer among you. I told Dickstein this would happen. And when they arrested that boy, I was sure of it. You agree then, I take it? Of course. What do you- I need you to organize it so as not to arouse anyone's suspicion. I want to gather all the students in one place and discreetly examine them. The Mo won't even know I've exposed them. Just say when. Let's handle this quickly. Do you think you'll be able to assemble everyone now? Yes, and you will have a moment to prepare. What do you mean? I mean, you should look inside your wardrobe and pick more suitable attire. If I come in disguise, someone may begin to, well, suspect something. I thought as much. Let's see if Ligia managed to wrangle somebody into attending this lecture of mine. Are you looking for something in particular? Mr. Victor, I'm sorry, I couldn't not look in here. 
I am in awe of this entire house. And what have you found to be most to your liking here, miss? I don't think I could pick just one thing. I think what fascinates me the most is that every mundane object can have a second highly magical purpose concealed just beneath the surface. That's true. I wanted to discuss it during the lecture. I can hardly wait. Have you been to other rooms as well, miss? What do you mean? Someone snooped around my bedroom. Are you up to something with a mysterious partner again? Mr. Shulsky, I resent that. I didn't come into anyone's bedroom. Who do you think I am? I'll wait downstairs. I don't want anyone to misconstrue this situation as inappropriate. And he walked across the entire town like that, with all that cocoa. And here he is. I hear you were quite the mischievous youth. I'm afraid the list of my offenses might be too long. Grazinka, should I be worried? Why, of course not. No, we were just discussing childhood mischief and the cocoa incident. Yes, I can't deny that one. Do you have other interests than Coco and Thaumaturgy? Travel? Cards? I'm sure Grazenka will tell you everything. All your secrets are safe with me, young master. In that case, I won't keep you any longer. See you in the lecture. Now this place on top of everything. Someday it will be enough to stick one foot out the door to get locked up. And we all know who will get us locked up. Hello. It's our professor for the day. Hello, sir. Is that so? Who was this vigorous discussion about then? About Polina Nikolaevna? Indeed. It's probably our little Russian girl who's making all this trouble for us. I don't know why Dickstein doesn't see that. To me, it's obvious that she's the snitch. It's the Russian girl! Why are you not suspicious of your friend who was arrested? His father fought in the uprising. He wouldn't snitch. Place of birth is hardly enough to determine whether someone is a traitor and a snitch, wouldn't you agree? And someone with your skills should already know everything, wouldn't you agree? All in good time. Have a nice lecture. Break a leg. I'm happy to see you, Mr. Shulsky. I'm sure the lecture will be a success. Unmerit, perhaps. However, if I were you, I would make myself more presentable. 
I would never expect to see such crowds in this house. That's true. A nice change. The students will not miss such an opportunity. It's not every day that one gets to listen to a taumaturge. Regarding the lecture... Can we start? I need another moment. I still have some preparations to do. What do you need? I should make use of some props to better illustrate the theory with examples. I'll see if there are any curiosities in the study that I could use. I'll take a look around the gathering. You know why. You'll see. My brother won't disappoint you. We're waiting. Impatiently. Mr. Shulski, one friendly face in a crowd. You are giving today's lecture, right? You seem troubled, miss. Is everything all right? Besides the finger pointing and backbiting, you mean? Quite all right, yes. Quite. Allow me to be so bold and point out that you look somewhat troubled, miss. Can thaumaturges read minds? Dear lady, I don't need to read anyone's mind to see right through them. Yes, well, I'm waiting. Please excuse me, I'll take my leave. I hope you enjoy today's lecture, miss. Uvidimsia. Yes, Mr. Schulz. You do realize that your ancestry doesn't make you popular with the students. It's hard not to feel it. They don't exactly hide their dislike. I think I can sympathize. I'm half Russian, but I'm also a thaumaturge. How do you cope with it? I try not to think about it, with varying degrees of success. Can thaumaturges read minds? Dear lady, I hope you... Uvidimsia. Victor? Regarding the lecture... Can we start? I think we can begin. I trust that you have planned everything well. I'll take care of everything. Have a pleasant lecture. Samuel, I assure you, you will not be disappointed. I'm certain that this will be an exceptional meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment I know many of you have been anxiously awaiting has finally arrived. Owing to the courtesy of both hosts of today's meeting, we have a unique opportunity to touch the knowledge from the borderline between science and magic. Viktor Surski, if you would. My name is Viktor Shulski, as the President has already said. We know, we know. I will start by warning you 
that I'm doing this for the first time in my life. I could have stayed at home today. I would like to tell you more about the purpose of the items I have prepared for today. I think we all know what a comb is used for. Looking at you, a person could have doubts. That's rich. I think we should start with what you think thaumaturgy is. Here, we have three apparently ordinary items. However, there's more to each of them than you might think. On my father's comb, apart from the dandruff... Disgusting. There's also a memory which I can easily read. This particular one concerns father's frustration caused by his developing baldness. And do we have any influence on what exactly will remain on the item? Thaumaturges freely communicate intentions this way. Secrets, messages, and so on. Practical. Let us not get ahead of the facts. I will cover it more extensively in a moment. In that case, do you also talk to the dead? No, no one can talk to the dead. If they claim otherwise, they're after your money. Contact with the Salutars is enough for me. Let us move on to the other items. This mask was made more than a thousand years ago. My father brought it from Africa in 89. However, you can see that the deity it depicts has many similarities to the Slavic Salutar, Veles. Are you saying that people can see salutars? As far as I know, ordinary mortals cannot see them. Then how do you know they exist? Where do salutars come from? No one knows. This particular question remains unanswered. How convenient. We know that these beings have always been with us, just like the people who were granted the power. We coexist, but we do not know what rules govern this coexistence. Let us move on. I would like to remind you that time is... Can we see a practical demonstration? That's enough theory. But... are there items? Let's move on to the practical part now. Can you help me with a small experiment, miss? With pleasure. You too, miss. I'd like to ask both of you ladies for a coin. A kopieko will do, and I promise to give it back. Excellent. By touch alone, I am now able to uncover the secrets that Miss Bolina is hiding from all of us. This is starting to get interesting. Let's see. A Thaumaturge can gain profound knowledge of a person from any object that belonged to them, however mundane it might be. Let's see. The truth can be surprising. Well, enlighten us already. Let us focus on you then, Miss Cecilia. Please go ahead. Your fascination with thaumaturgy is intense. And there's a reason for it. Well... Contrary to how it may be perceived by outsiders, it is not the desire to impress a certain thaumaturge. Rather, it is a professional quest to find answers to questions yet unexplored. Miss wants to be the first. 
Thank you, sir. It's prudence that I ask if you consent to me sharing your secrets. I don't have anything to hide. It's not true that you have nothing to hide, Myth. You bet. I don't think you've told anyone present here why you are so motivated to learn at the Flying University. It's because the Flying University is just the start for you. You have very ambitious plans and you dream about going to the Sorbonne, where you intend to pursue a career as a scientist. That's right. One more thing. You promised to explain something to us during the practical section. That section is now, right? What I've just presented to you is the thaumaturgist skill of perception, which means reading that which is hidden. However, in order for perception to be useful, something must first be inscribed in an item. Right. And if someone doesn't have the power, but focuses on the message, will they be able to inscribe what they want? Well, it doesn't hurt to keep trying, right? Fascinating. Thank you for this truly enlightening lesson. At the same time, it pains me to say that it's time to end it. Do you have to end it now? I have to be mindful of safety, not only of the students, but also of our hosts. Return safely and uh, forget that you are here. Can I have a word with you, Mr. Shulsky? Please indulge me. Thank you, and congratulations on an amazing lecture. And about our... issue? Mr. President, but above all, Mr. Shulsky, what a wonderful experience. I will never forget it. I'm glad. I can't wait for our next meeting. Goodbye. Come back safe, Cheswav. Getting back to my question. It's not her. I'm sure of it. That's good. It's a great relief. And you got it from the Kopieka. What kind of magic is this? The traces people leave on objects allow me to read their intentions, and even their innermost thoughts. I'm grossly simplifying, of course. This is a topic that deserves its own lecture. Maybe it does. Although the joy is spoiled by one fact that I must share with you. Should I be nervous? I'm afraid so. Someone in the merry gathering of students has bad intentions. To put it bluntly, someone here wants to betray you. So it's true then. Do you know who this is? Not yet, unfortunately. So I advise you to be very careful. Thank you. I will not endanger you any longer. Until our next meeting, I hope. Certainly. Have a good night, Samuel. Be careful. Have a good night, Samuel. Be serious. You appear to be waiting for me. Indeed, Mr. Shulsky. Do you remember me? Cheswav, I attended your lecture. Can I take a moment of your time? It's urgent. What's the matter? Is something bothering you? More than one thing, actually. I can't sleep. I'm afraid to walk alone in the city. I feel that I'm being watched. Maybe you should consult a doctor about this before turning to a thaumaturge. It's them! They're here! <laughs> Do you think they'll keep us here long? Do you at least know where we are? No. I've got a splitting headache. They took the grimoire from me. Do you believe me now? 
Ever since I came back, I've been finding myself in situations like this quite often. It can't be good for my head. Your head has more serious concerns right now. I'm afraid they won't let us go so easily, if at all. Who are these people? I don't know. I fear they're with the Ohrana. I told you, they've been following me. Now is a good time for you to explain this situation to me. I think they're after the Flying University and Dickstein. It was probably them that arrested Valdemar. And now they've been following me as well. I'll take a look around here. Seem pleased. Have you managed to feel something out? I've discovered a few things. We'll see which of them prove to be useful. How about a smoke? They didn't take them from you? Luckily, no. They're important. The, the good stuff. They have a distinct, courtly taste of the bourgeois. I've heard that somewhere already. It's a popular saying. A convict's last meal. Want one? What is it that you want from the Fang University? Being a diligent student is not my thing. I simply heard that is where fancy girls go. You understand, right? Cigarette. I don't smoke. I don't think we'll have time anyway. Mr. Shulski has come to already? Good. We want to ask you some questions, and we're not in any kind of rush. But first, this one. How about it, Chaseoff? Where should we start? Feet, nails, or knees? Gentlemen, I beg you. I don't know anything. This is some sort of mistake. Chaseoff, Chaseoff, we know about Dick Stein and the students. We even know about the Shulski family home. We're catching you one by one as we speak. Do you prefer the hammer or the pliers? I don't know anything. I swear, Mr. Shulski. Where's my grimoire? We happen to be reading it. Why? If this is true, and you have so much as glanced at the written pages, all the demons imprisoned there have looked into your souls. They will hunt you for the rest of your days. That's not how grimoires work. Didn't I tell you? That's exactly how they work. My cousin looked at a grimoire once and soon started dreaming of ghouls. So did his children. It went on for years until he sought aid from a priest. Be quiet, idiot. Maybe we should move on to Mr. Shulski now. Pliers or hammer. The hammer's a better choice. Maybe your hand slips or you miss and hit your finger. And in the end, they won't even give you a decent bludgeoning with pious. What? What? I know you operate independently, and you'll do anything so the Chief doesn't find out. Am I wrong? Ivan, and I think I can address the Chief that way, will not be happy when he finds out about all of this. Konechkin will end you. And what now? Let me tell you how this is going to end. You'll give me my grimoire back, and then let me out of here. And if you don't, I'll make you tear off each other's faces. So you can get out and warn your buddies? No chance. We'll take the risk. Cheswav, you can stop pretending now. We'll settle this in a more subtle way. I thought it wouldn't come out till the end. 
This is the end. You handle him then. I'm off to tell our guys to hurry up with these arrests. Victor, it's so good that you're here. Is everything all right? Soldiers came for me today. I managed to escape and came straight here. Arrests have started and I'm certain they want to close the Flying University. I have to warn whoever I can. Dickstein, above all. We must hold a meeting at the Antiquarian Bookshop. I know about everything already from the Ochrana. Cheswaf turned out to be their snitch. But the arrests don't stop. We have to do something. I'll reach out to Dickstein. Excellent. And Paulina? She's probably playing at this bridge club of hers. It's right next door to the entrance to Dickstein's apartment. All right. I'll go get her. Let's not waste time. I'll run to Lucrezia first. The two of us will notify the rest. We are counting on you, Victor. Victor, it's so good that you're here. Is everything all right? I was about to leave. We must alert the rest. Calm down. Soldiers came for... We are... Another one. What's going on here? Why is there no passage? Man, on one side, there are the Ruskies that want to come in and batter people, and on the other side, there's me not wanting to let them in. And seeing as there are more of us this time, it won't be so easy for them. I repeat, get out of the way and no one will be harmed. Take your bark and somewhere else, lion dogs. Haven't you had enough this year? Do you intend to drag people out of their homes and beat them in the streets again? 
or shoot them. And which side of the barricade are you gonna be on? Is there perhaps a chance that you will help me pass in such a way as not to draw the Ruski's attention? And who are you supposed to be? A provocateur, probably? And with a magical book, no less. Forget about it. I have to think about this. And what is there to think about? Have you made up your mind? I don't have time. Whoever wants to join in, let them. Gentlemen, I think the Jews have found themselves an ally. What I'd like to give them is a beating. Come on, Mr. Magician! is about to draw for a straight. Is that bad? How do you know? Ah, fuck it. Give me two. It's urgent, and I don't want to explain it in front of everyone. Please, let's go. Fine, let's go. Hey, we got a deal going. I must immediately take the young miss away from here, on a very delicate matter of a private nature. Then I don't give a fuck. No one leaves here until we finish. A deal is a deal. The lady is leaving, but with us, Panyal. Fuck you, you horse-spawned rusky milksop. Get the fuck out of the bridge club if you can't play culture with people. Get lost, the lot of ya! Let's leave them alone. Yes, it will be better that way. Let's meet later, in the Antiquarian Bookshop by Green Square.
I think we should get started now. But the president is not here yet. Samuel won't be joining us. He should already be on his way to Vienna. Without saying a word? I didn't think he would do something like that. He'd leave us just like that. He had his family to consider. He had more to lose than any of you. Then what should we do now? What do you think, sister? I believe that the idea of the Flying University will survive without someone. Besides, something may always change. Yes, we must wait, true, but never give up. Only then will the sacrifice of those who are arrested not be in vain. We simply cannot give up. I hope that we'll meet again someday, free and in good health. Meanwhile, I must insist that we finish this meeting. Yes, let's not tempt fate anymore. Without you, we wouldn't be here. It's not over yet, so... Until the next time. I'm worried about what's happening in the city. Warsaw is on fire. People finally dare to lift their weary heads while socialist militants carry out attacks on anyone who doesn't support the revolution. But there is still a spark of hope for Warsaw. Through the heroic struggle of students, the Flying University has been legalized. At least, there's that. But enough about that. It's time for a new adventure, my friend.